YouTube, I'm back, and today we're going to be doing a commentary on the Game Dudes Crash of the Titans review. Yes, I already made a Game Dude Sucks video, but not I haven't seen any commentaries on Game Dudes Crash of the Titans review. In my opinion, I'm not really a big fan of Crash of the Titans, but his review ended up sucking harder than the actual game itself. I'm probably going to be, you know, doing a commentary on his revised version, so can he do a better job than the original review? Well, let's start with the video and find out. Crash the Titans landed Crash Bandicoot in the mud puddle, again, but this time, nothing resembles the classics. Not that there's anything truly wrong with that, like Mario 2 and Zelda 2 are different, and they're the game. I agree on that point. End of story. But if it's going to be different, it better be good, because if it's bad, it's twice the disgrace, like this game. Sometimes new is better, like Wrath of Cortex is too similar to the classics, but this game went way too far. It should have been new while staying true to its roots, like Galaxy. Not only is it too new, it's a shitty kind of new, and the game itself is a piece of shit. Personally, in my opinion, if they're going to change the gameplay significantly, they should just, you know, change the name and get rid of the characters from that franchise and put new characters in it. Because even if the game itself is good, there's going to be fanboys out there that's going to bitch and moan about how it's not like the classics and they're going to say the game flat out sucks. Crash Bandicoot was Sony's Mario, Rule was cool and radical in a wacky kind of way. He was the perfect mascot to join Sonic and Mario. Now, like Crash, everyone looked nice before, but now they're all ugly. Game Dude, does anyone really gonna give an absolute shit about how the characters look? Doesn't, I don't know, people care about, I don't know, the gameplay more? Crash makes these retarded grunting noises. Punches like he's trying to grab a piece of cake while he's tied down with rope. Oh, ha, ha, ha. That was so funny. Not. Now he spins like he's doing ballet. Nothing is truly original about this game. Cortex needs Mojo to rule the world. Mojo? Mojo. Mojo! Like from Austin Powers? Yeah, baby, yeah! Mojo means magic power, but come on, it's practically copyrighted. Mojo was used long before Austin Powers was made. And plus, I really doubt New Line Cinemas is gonna care about them saying Mojo. Enemies sound like Daxter. Look, old man! Are you gonna keep yapping? Or are you gonna help me out of this mess? Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Well, the enemies do kind of... Um... No. The enemies don't sound like Dexter at all. And some of the sound effects sound like they were ripped directly from 60s Batman movies. Game Dude, you're kind of wrong there. I think it'll probably sound more like this. They painstakingly slow down the animation so we can truly see how shitty it looks. Enemies walk like there's a stick crammed up their ass. And why does Crash need to jack enemies to beat the stronger ones? Crash should be kicking the shit out of everyone. Imagine if Mario had to fight Bowser in a giant robot. That would be epic! Nintendo, you need to take some notes. You need to put that in the next Mario game. There's not a reason why he can't, seeing how far he can throw a heavy object so hard it breaks the metal chain. Oh my god, who the hell cares? Anyway, the game focuses too much on fighting enemies than being a platform game like it should. Most of the time, all you have to do to beat them is tap the square button, and it gets very repetitive. There's too many of them. Sometimes, you have to fight them in order to progress, and they never end. Seriously, you kinda like said that the enemies just never end. I mean, if, if it really never ends, then the game is pretty much unbeatable. Sometimes, you can't land a single shot because they permanently stay in defense mode, and when you turn around to punch their ass, they instantly turn around. And yes, I do agree that 
It can get annoying when the Titans can block every attack, but it doesn't get to the point where it just basically ruins the game. Damn it! You know what? I'm just gonna do it myself. Oh look, he really can beat up the stronger enemies by himself. Kind of defeats the entire purpose of jacking enemies, don't you think? But he still needs to jack the stronger ones to beat the bosses. What a wimp. Okay, while it can be possible to beat the str stronger titans with Crash, it takes longer and it's way harder to do it. I mean, it would be just easier to get onto a smaller titan and defeat the bigger titan. Invisible walls are everywhere. Like, what's the point of it being a platform game if in many areas you can't even fall off? You have to wait for the logs to completely settle before you can move across them. Oh my god! Who cares? I mean, imagine if they get rid of the invisible walls. I mean, you fall off and you die. Now look at this. I'm trapped in an invisible tunnel with an invisible dead end. I have to jack off this enemy before I can continue about. I was not aware of that. The game is also very slow. Come on! Run faster! What are you waiting for? Tinkerbell to wipe your ass for you? <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> that is so not funny. Aiming can be very awkward. Look, I'm trying to shoot that target. Fuck! Come on! You know that Titan has, you know, like an aim mode where you can just aim at the target and then shoot it? Greasy kangaroo nuts! Give me a break! Get on with it! Yes! Get on with it! Oh man! The controls? Interestingly suck. You know you can just, I don't know, explain why the controls are bad, but no, all you really gotta do is just say, the controls are bad. I play the game, and I thought the controls worked pretty fine, I mean. Jokes are everywhere, and they're negatively funny. Long last, the world will have a way to recycle butter! <laughs> hey, that was a good one! <laughs> a typewriting monkey could make funnier jokes. Right. And I shall call this robot the Doominator! Yeah, yeah! That name sucks! Like this game sucks? Now, do they have something against the Wizard of Oz? I hope Dorothy and the real Crash beat the shit out of this fake. This game is a disgrace to the Bandicoot's legacy. Jesus freaking Christ. Crash Bandicoot never had a legacy to begin with. Damn this damn floating beluga whale shit and goes to see me down the damn beaver dam. And have more fun making deer shit mud pies. It's the shameful disgrace of mankind. Game dude, swearing like a freaking sailor is not funny or entertaining. I know it worked for the angry video game nerd, but it's not going to work for you. And plus, this guy has something to say to you. SHUT UP! MY GOD! YOU HAVE NO FREAKING LIES! Sonic the Hedgehog meets your new best friend. What are you laughing about, Spy Hole the Dragon? You're next! Oh, he's gotta put, like, inspired by the angry video game nerd. Yeah, I'm not that stupid. I know you're just a bad angry video game nerd. Knock off. So that's where the video pretty much ends. So, what do I think of this video? Overall, while it is a little bit better than the original video, it's still pretty much piss poor. Game Dude, before this video ends, I got one thing to say to you. It's official. You suck.